Hello everyone, welcome back to an air update on Sherry Arbor's story, the sixth one in particular. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually kind of amazing to see that number six and realise, damn, we've really gotten six updates on this, and I haven't given up on making updates yet. But yeah, anyway, we will proceed through uh, with some of the bullet points that I have on screen right now, and obviously talk about the stuff that's been happening recently. So, one of the major things that's happened since I've come back from holiday is that the a concept for Joe's Night Flyer has been made and you may be able to see that on screen right now because I'm probably going to use that like as the like background image and I'm probably going to use that in the thumbnail as well because it's hard not to you know gotta show off all the new concept stuff you know and I also would like to say that I'm in the works now of drafting up a description for the next character concept which I hope to get done sometime during this month just right now I'm a bit anxious about like asking artists to do work for me again and I'm, I'm just like taking it easy right now until I'm like okay now I'm ready to just get this because this next piece is a bit um risque we'll say in a sense but I won't say too much more about it right so other than Joe's Night Flyer being revealed and the next concept basically being teased at the first revision of the entire story of Sherry Albert's story from 1 to 14 has finally been finished I finished this now a few days ago, but obviously I've been doing the other Joe's Night Flyer videos first before I came in and did this update video. And, well actually let me just explain real quick what Revision 1 even was. So Revision 1 was basically, um, as I was explaining before to some people, the it was, a, it was for me to go over the story again, because the story itself kind of felt like it was being told in like three different like points of view like three different timelines and the best way i described it it's like it's like these timelines that are like trying to converge with each other but like just bounce off each other and it's like they're all like the, it's like if i took like for example like one to five and maybe five to ten and then um 11 to what should we call it uh, 14 basically they were like three different like sherry arbor story but because I did this whole revision one and it's taken me a long time, a stupidly long time, but it's taken me a long time and I've done it now, I've actually managed to turn these, what I'll just say, three timelines and make them one. So the same story is being told from volume one up to 14 and hopefully beyond, because I'm not gonna lie, I got a bit giddy at the end and I was gonna do a volume 15, but right now I'm deciding to hold off on that and just stick with one to 14 for now. So, because Revision 1 is done, what's happening next? Well, right now, I'm actually going through what's called Revision 1.1. Because, uh, back ages ago, when I was editing Volume uh, 3, I said to myself that I needed a Volume 4 that would go in between the current 3 and 4. And then I did, I made it, and let's just say I'm touching it up again, just to make sure it's up to par with the other volumes, and... Even just that, like, Revision 1 also entitles me, like, well, not entitles me, but has me go through all of them just to make sure, like, they've all got their table of contents, page numbers, uh, like, all the text is justified, the titles are all centred, you know, little stuff like that. Apologies, I can't remember what I was saying there because I had to cut that out. But I was just talking about Revision 2 and how I'm going to probably have to just, like, Show that, like, after that, like, if I don't feel like I need to do a second revision fully, I'll just show it to other people, and then maybe revision two also entitles me just basically just getting feedback from people, putting that feedback in, and keep going from there. And I think, honestly, during that time, like, if I'm showing other people and doing little bits and going back and forth with it, like, let's just say volume one, at that point, I'm probably going to be looking around to either self publish Sherry Arbor's story or even, like, see if any book publishers in Ireland want to publish this story, which I'm not going to lie, it's very doubtful, I'm not going to lie. I feel like they just won't like the layout and design of Sherry Arbor's story and the anime kind of look to it. I don't know why, I just feel like they like frown against that and be like, oh, this is meant for like... For example, I think right now, like, Sherry Arbor is best described for like, young teen, or sorry, not young teen, teen and young adults, that's it. I was, <laughs> I was getting that confused there for a minute. And yeah. So, that's where all that is right now. So, uh, one thing I didn't mention about the concepts uh, art, by the way, is that I'm actually planning to try and make this a monthly thing. I don't know if I said it last update, but I'm going to reiterate it again. That's why I'm actually making efforts to try and get this next concept uh, 
character concept in the work, should I say? Sorry, my words have gone completely sideways there. And obviously, once I get that done, I'll wait till next month, and then the next month I'll get another one done, and so on and so forth. And obviously, that'll also depend on variations, like for example, if I do reach revision 2, and I'm in the stages where I need to get, like, volume 1 all polished up, like, I'll probably be ordering a lot of, like, artwork for that, because I don't imagine I'm just going to publish the book with just one art piece on the front cover and maybe one on the back cover as well. I'd like to try and get some, like, pictures maybe in between it, and I've also even thought of putting, like, maybe character profiles, like, in between, like, every few chapters, because I thought that'd be just kind of cool to do. But that'll all depend. We'll have to see later. And lastly, I need to update everyone on the Sherry Arbor Story YouTube channel update. Now, obviously, in the future, you might be watching this on that channel, but if you didn't know, this video is currently on uh, Joseph Knight Flyers Clips. I was going to say the Flyers Clips again, because that's what the channel used to be called. But the channel, uh, the Night Flyer, is currently still being excavated. Now it's just down to getting all the videos out of there and putting it on the archives and on the uh, Joseph Knight Flyers Clips channel, the one you're probably watching this on as well. So, yeah, once all that is done and the three videos that are currently out get, like, completely removed and, like, to the other channels too, I will then start the process of having, like, Sherry Arbor story uploads, like, basically upload once a day until they're all done. And obviously during that time, if I do, like, new videos in relation to Sherry Arbor story, I'll probably just, like, upload it to the Joe Smith Flyers Clips channel for now until all the old, like, updates are all done and then we'll go from there. Right, thank you all so much for listening to this update. I know it's been quite a long one, not really, actually. It's been probably on the shorter side, if I'm being honest, but I'm going to have to do a little bit of editing in this one, so it might be a bit shorter than I think it is. Thank you so much for looking at the sixth update for Sherry Arbor's story, the light novel series that I'm currently working on. I genuinely feel like, depending on how things go and my motivation to keep working on the story, Sherry Arbor's story is looking basically for a release date of next year, I'd say. Like, sometime next year is actually probably the most plausible time it'll come out. Which is bizarre to think about, but yeah, we'll just have to see how that goes. I can't make any promises, so I'll stop talking about it. But if you do like this video, obviously like it. Comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. And I'll catch you all in the next video, whether that be a concept art video, an update video, or whatever other video I plan to do for Sherry Arbor's story.